Chapter eighty two of Revelations of Divine Love read for LibriVox.org by David Barnes. Revelations of Divine Love by Julian of Norwich. The sixteenth revelation. Chapter eighty two. In falling and in rising, we are ever preciously kept in one love. But here showed our courteous Lord the moaning and the mourning of the soul signifying thus, I know well thou wilt live for my love, joyously and gladly suffering all the penance that may come to thee. But inasmuch as thou livest not without sin, thou wouldest suffer for my love all the woe, all the tribulation and distress that might come to thee. And it is sooth, but be not greatly aggrieved with sin that falleth to thee against thy will. And here I understood that which was showed, that the Lord beholdeth the servant with pity and not with blame. For this passing life asketh not to live all without blame and sin. He loveth us endlessly, and we sin customably, and he showeth us full mildly, and then we sorrow and mourn discreetly, turning us unto the beholding of his mercy cleaving to his love and goodness, seeing that he is our medicine, perceiving that we do naught but sin. And thus, by the meekness we get by the sight of our sin, faithfully knowing his everlasting love, him thanking and praising, we please him. I love thee, and thou lovest me, and our love shall not be disparted in two. For thy profit I suffer these things to come. And all this was showed in spiritual understanding, saying these blessed words, I keep thee full surely. And by the great desire that I saw in our blessed Lord that we shall live in this manner, that is to say, in longing and enjoying, as all this lesson of love showeth, thereby I understood that that which is contrarious to us is not of him, but of enmity. And he willeth that we know it by the sweet gracious light of his kind love. If any such lover be in earth, which is continually kept from falling, I know it not, for it was not showed me. But this was showed, that in falling and in rising we are ever preciously kept in one love, for in the beholding of God we fall not, and in the beholding of self we stand not. And both these manners of beholding be sooth as to my sight, but the beholding of our Lord God is the highest soothness. Then are we greatly bound to God, for that he willeth in this living to show us this high soothness, and I understood that while we be in this life, it is full speedful to us that we see both these at once. For the higher beholding keepeth us in spiritual solace and true enjoying in God, and that other that is the lower beholding keepeth us in dread and maketh us ashamed of ourself. But our good Lord willeth ever that we hold us much more in the beholding of the higher, and yet leave not the knowing of the lower, unto the time that we be brought up above, where we shall have our Lord Jesus unto our meed, and be fulfilled of joy and bliss without end. End of chapter 82 This recording is in the public domain.